Hey everyone, in this video, we would like to cover Berkeley Math Tournament 2022 general round number 13. Let's read the question and let's just jump into the problem, right? Three standard six-sided dice are rolled. What is the probability that the product of the values on the top faces of this, these three dice is a perfect cube? All right, so here we go. Um, so basically, when, when we have this type of questions, I would say, uh, we need to label some stuff, right? So number one, uh, label. So there's going to be the first die, the first die, the second die, and you can see the third die. Uh, let's say the third die. And let's just try to say the face value as A, B, and C. And it's going to be better off if we just label some conditions down here. And you can see that A and B and C, all of these values are integers from 1 to 6. And it says A, B, and C must be some perfect cubes, right? So A times B times C, the product of these, must be some kind of perfect cubes. And we were thinking, you know, like I, I lay out all those numbers and trying to think, trying to think how to solve this. But the problem that we face is that um, we start from one cube. We start from one and we end up six cubed. So probably we can list list all perfect cubes that may appear. So in other words, it could be one cubed, it could be two cubed, and it could be three cubed. It could be four cubed, and five cubed, and six cubed. And if you have found up to this part, we're done, right? So here we go, uh, performing some caseworks. And let's just try to say that, you know, ba basic cases, case number one, well, what if we have A times B times C equals one, one cubed? Well, in this case, using partition of natural numbers, we got to lock the order between A, B, and C and try to figure out how many cases that we get. So I'm going to assume without loss of generality, I'm just going to assume that this is true. And if I just, even, even when I write it down, it's just going to be one, 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 and that's the only possibility. And if I rearrange and somehow release this condition, back again, relax this condition and rearrange this, I still get, you know, just one of these. So there's only one case. There's only one case to cover. And case number two, well, what if, what if we multiply A, B, and C to get two cubed? And that's going to be eight. Remember, I'm not going to relax this condition. I'm going to, you know, like impose this condition down on here. And we get four and two and one and two, two, and two. Now, by imposing this condition, we can find out huge categories. There's going to be, there should be two possible candidates, right? Now, these possible candidates, I'm going to relax the condition and then produce six possibilities. There's, there's going to be six cases, right? There should be six cases and there should be one case to cover. So there are six cases and there's one case to cover. And if you just look at all the other cases, if you, if, and, and let's say dot, 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 why? Because if you just look at three cubed and four cubed and five cubed and six cubed, well, I would say there's no way that I can make three cubed unless I multiply three, three, three. And there's no way that I can multiply, you know, or multiply three numbers to get four cubed. In these conditions, I cannot help but just multiply four, four, four. So each of those numbers actually come up with one possible case, just like number one. Right? So we got four cases to cover. Right, so that four cases and one cases, and we got seven cases. Imagine we add it up, right? So we get four and one plus six and one, and we're dividing out by total possibilities. And total possibilities, how many cases do we have for A? We got six cases. How many cases that we have for B and C? We still have six cases, right? So it's going to be six to the power of three. Okay, so all we need to do is just to simplify. And we got five and seven, that becomes 12 over 6 cubed, and imagine multiplying this out, and let's just shrink this a little bit. Uh, shrink, yes, uh, shrink this, and we get, you know, like a 2 times 6, and there's going to be 6 cubed, and I would say you can cross it out, and we get 2 over 36, and imagine simplifying this a little bit further, we get 1 over 18, and that shall be the answer. 